Hey kitties! So today I am going to be doing a taste test Tuesday. Woo! Taste test Tuesday, yay! Bulbasaur! Or Squirtle. Wait, what? <laughs> Pokemon! I am trying some vegan marshmallows because lots of you guys have asked me if you've ever tried vegan marshmallows before. No, I have not. And I just found them actually. So they look like real marshmallows. They feel like real marshmallows. Let's see if they taste like it. They are by Dandy's Air Puff Marshmallows, vegan, gluten-free, all natural, made on a dedicated vegan equipment in a peanut and knee truck. I was gonna say knee truck, tree nut. Oh my god, free facility. All right, I'm excited to try these. Ooh. Oh my god, they hate me. Okay, they smell like marshmallows. They look like marshmallows. They're puffed like marshmallows. Oh my god, they're marshmallows. <laughs> I would never know the difference between this and a real marshmallow, or the vegan marshmallow and the non-vegan marshmallow. I wouldn't even taste the difference if you had them both in front of me. I would say that this one is a little bit sweeter, actually, than your regular marshmallow. It's like it's the same. It has the same consistency, it has the same flavor. It's really good. So, yeah, no animal products. Oh my god, I went to go throw it in my mouth and fell on the floor. No, that's amazing. Put in your hot chocolate s'mores, crispy treat. <gasps> Okay, I hope you guys aren't getting sick of that almost every taste test Tuesday I do things from the TNT supermarket because I bought so many things from there. Like I loaded myself up because they have such unique things that I can't find anywhere here. So that probably doesn't you know, mean anything to you guys. I hope it doesn't at least. I can't read anything on this. I looked at it and it looked really intriguing and it looked like um, cinnamon toast crunch a little bit. And on the English side, because there's always an English sticker here, which I really appreciate, it says spicy rice cracker. And their stuff is so easy to open, like by Felicia. Oh, oh, yum. It smells like sushi. Oh, it smells like the soy sauce, like when you have sushi. Look like this, it looks so good. Whoa, not what I was expecting right away. Okay, hmm, they're good, they are good. They have like a soy saucy, fishy corn kind of flavor, all that mixed in one. It's like, almost like stale. It tastes like, I don't know if it is actually, or if that's just how they roll, but, oh, it's weird. Definitely, definitely not spicy whatsoever. Not even a little bit. Like I would be comfortable feeding this to a baby. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I'm just saying, I'm trying to imply that it's like not spicy at all. Like it's very good. The flavor is really good. I just don't like the crackery. The very last things that we're trying are taro cream wafers. Taro is one of my favorite flavors ever. Basically it's a root vegetable. That's what it is, but it is like the sweetest candy ever. Like it's so sweet. It tastes like pudding. Oh my God, it's so good. If you haven't tried taro, definitely try it. I mainly get taro bubble teas. It does not taste like a vegetable at all. It's super, super, super sweet. I don't know. I've never had tried an actual taro. So these are taro cream wafers. Oh my God, they're huge. Look at that. <laughs> wafers like where we live, it's like half this for one. It's usually like bright purpley, but this isn't. Yum. Okay. Mmm. Okay, so the wafer is very flaky. These things do not have a lot of flavor. So if you're looking for like a snack or something that's really sweet, has a lot of flavor punch in your mouth, that's what she said, I wouldn't suggest these. But they are for that person that just wants like a, a light and fluffy dessert, so to speak. Just a subtle amount of taro in there. Oh, and there's some purple spots in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like so. I could definitely eat these on a daily. Very good. It's still good. So I would say first place today would be the marshmallows, the vegan marshmallows. Second place are these. And then third place are the spicy things, which I wouldn't eat again. I wouldn't, just because they weren't anything special, like I said. These, I, I like the wafers though, and I like taro, so I would go back to these. That is awesome that they can do so much with vegan food. I just find it amazing, like how they can do like chicken burgers and sausages and you know, ice cream and all this. I think it's very interesting and awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and Taste Test Tuesday. Definitely try something new this Tuesday and tweet it to me if you do happen to try something new um, in a safe way, as I always say. Whether it's food or just, you know, pushing your comfort zone a little bit and like mowing the lawn. If you're like, I've never mowed the lawn before, be like, girl, I'm gonna mow that lawn and get those weeds out of the way at the same time and enjoy the sun because I've never been in the sun before. What? 
whatever your new thing is, I embrace it and I love you. If it's in a safe way and if you're not hurting anyone else, you guys gotta remember that. So, thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye guys! Magic fingers! <laughs>